This video is to compare and contrast the pros and cons of Advanced Launcher Burst ROM Collection Browser, which in my opinion is the two best emulator frontends that support controllers. Now obviously the elephant in the room is going to be Hyperspin. That's probably the best. Realistically it looks fantastic. Now what it doesn't do is it doesn't launch the ROMs directly from your Kodi interface which I particularly have mandatory on my machine because everything launches from Kodi. Now you can launch you can launch Hyperspin from Kodi but you need one of these programs which is Advanced Launcher to do so. Now what we're looking at here is Advanced Launcher. On this particular machine which the specs some of it does not matter, but what does matter, it's a Windows machine. I don't use RetroArch, I do use the individual emulators such as Project 64 for the 64 emulator. I use EPSXE for the PlayStation emulator. But what we're looking at is Advanced Launcher. I have, obviously we're looking at the Nintendo 64 import here. We can look at GameCube. So you can see it looks pretty darn good. Now the pros of Advanced Launcher are that it is extremely easy to set up. Of the two solutions, ROM Collection Browser and Advanced Launcher, Advanced Launcher is going to be your easiest. It's not to say it's easy, it's your easiest. Neither one of these are easy and neither of them work fantastic, but they are fantastic solutions. If you would have tried anything like this five years ago, it would not have been available to you. You can see that it does import game files. The pros, it's easy. I say it's not incredibly easy. One, Advanced Launcher is not in the default repository. ROM Collection Browser is in the Kodi or XBMC default repository. Uh, so you do have to grab that out of Angel's Cry repository. Uh, another pro of Advanced Launcher is its flexibility. This program does absolutely everything. Another pro that you can't do with ROM Collection Browser is import your game console images. Holy crap, that looks pretty darn good. Uh, again, this falls under flexibility. When I hit my context menu C, you see an add to favorites, British favorites, which means this is my Kodi level favorites. Extreme flexibility. You can make any one of these your main navigation item, which also means you can make any ROM your main navigation item. Pretty freaking fantastic. What I don't love about Advanced Launcher is the import functionality does not work as terrifically as it does with ROM Collection Browser. Now, neither one works fantastic. You're going to have so many issues, it's going to drive you freaking bonkers. But, I would say ROM Collection Browser has the edge in that situation. Also, a negative is that it just doesn't look as good. It looks pretty darn good. It has your info, which is your .info files. It has your images, and it looks pretty darn good. And this is not subjective. Let me hop to ROM Collection Browser and give you a taste of the good life. So ROM Collection Browser looks pretty freaking epic. In fact, so epic, I need to turn down the volume on the videos. So ROM Collection Browser, that's a pro for it. It looks fantastic. It looks way better than Advanced Launcher. Now obviously the video is pushed over the edge and the videos aren't default. You have to actually uh, do a little bit of extra work for the videos. But it is possible. It's just not possible with Advanced Launcher. You can't have gameplay videos. Also ROM Collection Browser, another pro. You have your filters here. Say I want to just isolate for Sega Genesis. Cool. You know what? I can do that. I love that. Customization what up with that if I want Genesis 2D action platformer cool I have a total of one game right I mean if you have a big library that's way more cool but let me leave that on all and all and all and it just I mean it's so cool I just want to do what I want to do and ROM collection browser just lets me do that a little bit more now it's not as flexible if I hit my C my context menu on any of these you're going to see an add-on favorites, but it's not going to be the 
actual favorites uh, in terms of what my code is. So it's not going to let me like add the individual ROM to a main nav item or something, which is a negative. Uh, another negative is that the imports are slower. I feel like the imports with Advanced Launcher happen a good bit quicker, which who wants to wait on crap? I mean, come on. That's pretty fantastic. Now, in terms of which one I would say to go with, this is gonna sound silly because I'm comparing and doing a verse. I'd say go with them both. Now, if you're just if you're just wanting emulators, there's no question. ROM Collection Browser is what you need. You need this in your life. If you're just doing emulators, ROM Collection Browser it works flawlessly. Now. For my setup, I use them both. I have Advanced Launcher there because you can have PC games. You can do any .exe file launch from Advanced Launcher. So you can have all your emulators launch from ROM Collection Browser. And then right next to that, you can have all of your PC games launch. Now, I like actually jumping to Steam. You know, whether it's because I like being marked to what the hell ever. I just like Steam, big picture mode. But if you want to launch all that from Cody, your solution is Advanced Launcher. If you want to launch Hyperspin and have an even more elegant solution than ROM Collection Browser, your solution is Hyperspin. I personally use Hyperspin to launch Blu-ray discs uh, because XBMC Cody does not have a native Blu-ray player. Boom, I can launch it from Advanced Launcher. So yeah, the answer's silly. I say use them both, but for emulators specifically, I mean, don't let your eyes fool you. This just looks a whole lot better. But yeah, give me a holler if you have any questions. And I would say uh, in the emulator space, ROM Collision Browser, Pawns, Advanced Launcher. But in terms of overall functionality, you can't beat launching any execute file from Cody. Give me a holler if you have any questions. Thanks.